Today we're going to be testing out and playing with the We Are Memory Keepers Foil Quill Freestyle Pens. Hey everybody, it's Christina from Creations with Christina. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when I post new videos. Don't forget to give today's video a thumbs up. And as always, a link to everything I use in today's video will be down below in the YouTube description. I have played with these already just to kind of get a feel of how they work and they are so much fun. I think you guys are really gonna enjoy these. They do come um, sold individually, so you can buy each one of these pens separately or you can buy them in a kit. I bought the kit that has three pens, but there is another kit that has a fourth pen, which is a calligraphy pen. Currently, I think that is only available on HSN, but I did see scrapbook.com has it available, but as a notify, so it's either coming soon or maybe they did have it and they sold out. I bought mine from scrapbook.com because they had a great deal and sale on them. And I'm gonna play with these today and show you how they work. Now my kit came with the three pens. It has a fine tip pen, a standard tip pen, and a bold tip pen. These are very similar to the freestyle pens or the quilling pens that you can use with the electronic, electronic die cutting machines. However, you don't have to have an electronic die cutting. These are ones that are handheld and you can write with these uh, to create or transfer foil. They are uh, needed to be plugged in by USB. So each one of them has their own USB cable and you need to use a USB, either a portable charger or something like that. I have this little device here that has four ports in it and I can actually plug in all of my uh, pens here at one shot so that we can charge them or heat them up all at once and then I have an extra one here that if I ever get the calligraphy pen I will be able to use all four of them at one time if I wanted to. When you plug in your pens you're going to see that they do have lights so you can see that they indicated indicating that they are warming up. It doesn't change color when they hit their maximum heat so you do just need to let it sit for a bit to warm up. So I'm going to set these aside, let those get warmed up and tell you what else came in the kit that I bought. It comes with the washi tape so that you can hold your foil down, the three pens, and three different sample packages of foil. So we have a gold, a rose gold, and a silver. I'm also going to be using um, my magnetic mat that is used to go with your regular freestyle or your regular quilling pens in your electronic die cutters. This just adheres to your die cutters cutting mat so you can feed it through, but it comes with magnets so that you can hold your foil in place. And I've already tested this out and works great. I'm gonna use a piece of green foil today that comes from these little foil packets that you can purchase. And then there's also, you can buy big rolls. And I have these two that are not the shiny foil, but a matte foil, and I really love these. So I thought I would just show you those because I, I love those two, those two colors. So what I'm gonna do is start off by showing you how the different tips look. So we're gonna put our foil down and you can either use your washi tape to stick this down, but since I'm using this mat, I'm just gonna use my magnets. Whenever I'm writing, I always have to tilt my paper and I tried just tilting the paper, but I still felt like I needed to, to move the whole mat here to get the right angle. It's just the way I write, I guess. So we're gonna pull out the fine tip Nope, pink is the fine tip. <laughs> and these are these have only been plugged in for a few minutes. They haven't been very it hasn't been very long. There is a little bit of heat when you get closer to the bottom, but it's not anything that's gonna burn my fingers. I will tell you that I accidentally touched the tip with my arm when I was working and it did burn, so just be careful with that. But this just gets a little warm and it's not, you know, anything that's too terrible. So this is the fine point. So I thought I would just kind of show you at two different angles. So I'm gonna do this at a, my normal writing angle, but then also show you what it's like going straight up and down. On the fine tip, it really doesn't make too much of a difference when you're doing a uh, the angles, but you will notice it mostly in the bold point pen. So I'm just gonna write fine tip on here. This blue one, the light blue, is your standard tip. So I'm gonna do at my angle and then straight up and down. And then we'll write standard. 
and this is the one you're going to notice it the most. So I'm going to do at my angle and then straight up and down and then I'm going to write bold. And this is the fun part is seeing what it looks like on your paper. That is the way it turns out and I love this. So you can see the fine tip. It really doesn't matter if you're holding it in an angle or straight up and down and standard is the same thing. But bold, when you're holding it at an angle and straight up and down, you can definitely see the difference in the um, thickness of the lines. This is a lot of fun and I could see so many different ways to use this. Let's do a little bit of writing just so I can show you what it looks like. I'm gonna take, we'll do the standard tip here and all my wires have gotten all tangled together. And I just wanna share with you, so I'm gonna write my name on here. Okay. And then we'll take the fine tip. And you can see the difference between when you're writing. So this was the standard tip and this is the fine tip. I'm loving both of these. Uh, I really think the fine tip for me is my favorite. Let's do a bold one and write my name. So there we have also in the bold tip. Again, I wrote at my angle, normal writing speed. I think I may be slowing it down just a little bit when I'm using it, but I, I'm loving this. Uh, the fine tip, I feel like I'm getting the best, but that's what I use, an extra fine tip pen even when I'm writing in my bullet journal. So speaking of bullet journal, I thought this is gonna be a ton of fun for working in my bullet journal. I went ahead and added a piece of foil with washi tape into my bullet journal and I'm just messing around and writing some things. I think that this is going to be awesome for doing it. I don't really decorate my bullet journal but I can see myself using the foil to create different elements in my planner. Now oh, let's see I have like a whole section on my videos. So we're just going to pull the washi tape up and Oh, I love this. This is, I'm really seeing this is gonna be a lot of fun in my bullet journal and creating different, just ways for me to take my very plain and simple bullet journal and make it fancy, even though I never really, you know, take the time to do that. But I think that we can definitely use this to fancy up my otherwise very plain bullet journal. So I trimmed off a little piece of this orange foil. This is actually mink foil. I'm not sure, now I know that mink foil you have to transfer with toner. So I'm curious, because you do have to use a laminator to transfer the toner, will our pens work? Now, they wouldn't work in the past if you were using um, the pens and for the electronic, but I thought I would just try it, just out of curiosity, because you, you, know, you need to play and discover these things. So I'm gonna take the fine tip and I'm just gonna write hello in the fine tip. Do the same thing in the standard tip. And from what I can tell, it looks like it's transferring. And then we're gonna try the bold tip. All right, so I can kind of see without picking these up off of the mat yet, I can kind of see that it looks like the standard, or the fine and the standard transferred and the bold doesn't look, look like it did. But let's just move away these magnets and see. Okay, all right, I'm kind of surprised. So this fine tip transferred and the standard tip was kind of skippy. You can see that it's not completely a uh, solid line and the bold is very faint and did transfer a little bit, but not a whole lot. Well, if that worked, let's see if we can get deco foil to work. I think there's a small, yeah, there is a small piece in here. All right, we're gonna, just out of curiosity, let's try the deco foil. Make sure we're doing it in a place that's... And start again with the fine tip. All 
No, I could tell already it's not transferring. Okay, so apparently the mink foil with my pens, the fine tip is working perfectly. The standard tip works. Maybe if you go a little bit slower, you'll get more of a coverage and the bold tip doesn't work. I'm really surprised at this. I'm not surprised at the deco foil not working because that I think requires like you have to have something sticky with it to pull the foil off. It's not gonna work with the heat. But that, that very much surprises me. And I don't know if I mentioned, but I'm using 80 pound cardstock. This is just a regular 80 pound standard white cardstock. And I'm gonna throw my magnets on here. This is We Are Memory Keepers foil, but in a matte finish. And I've already played with this the other day and I was in love with these two colors and how they transferred. And, and if you don't want anything shiny, oh. So let's do a little sample of all three pens. So you can see our three different, our fine, our standard, and our bold tip. And they have a little bit of shine to them, but they're nothing like the actual foil. So I'm just going to do two of these pens because I didn't have enough space here to do all three. And just something to note, I did try to write on the wrong side of the foil. So there is a shinier side and a more matte side. You just have to really look. So if you cut these off because they are more clear, that you just want to make sure that you're cutting and writing on the side that you need to be writing on. So let's move this up just a little bit. And we'll use our bold tip pen. I'm loving these matte colors and I hope We Are Memory Keepers comes out with a ton more of these colors because I absolutely love them. That is so much fun. So these are definitely going to be a lot of fun to play with. Stay tuned because I definitely will do more videos on different ways you can use them in your card making. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and found the information from uh, on how to use the freestyle pens helpful. If you have any questions about them, leave them in the comments below. Be happy to answer them. And if you do have these pens, leave a comment below and tell us what your favorite way or what how, what is your favorite way or how is your favorite way to use these pens in your card making or how you're using them if you're not using them for card making. On the screen, you're going to find two more videos. The top video is a link to my video on how to use the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pens for your electronic die cutters. The bottom video is a video that YouTube recommends and things you might enjoy. Thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you next time.